Tonight, we're taking a closer look at coronavirus cases all across Missouri. And instead of focusing on the communities with the largest number of cases, our investigative department is using state data to see which communities per capita are the hot spots. And the results might surprise you. KCMO does not top the list, not by a long shot. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. Saline County is home to 23,000 people. It's mostly farmland and open spaces. Doesn't make the news very often until coronavirus. This county has the highest rate per capita in all of Missouri. In fact, it's almost double the next highest county. The county is the hot spot at this point, and I don't really like that terminology. Tara yeah. Brewer is with Saline County's Health Department. She says aggressive testing has revealed the high number of cases. We're still just telling anyone and everyone that would like to get tested, we support that. Many original cases were connected to the meat packing plants in town. Many are mild cases or asymptomatic. Celine recently reported its first death. It's unreal. I never thought I'd see something like this in my lifetime. We stopped by a fish truck in Marshall. Six fish and chips. People were socially distanced. You don't know what to do. Some took even more precautions. Right now you go to Walmart, you're taking a chance right there with your life. It's clear this town realizes coronavirus has changed things. Now the struggle begins as they learn to find a new normal. Here's how rates stack up across Missouri if you look per capita. COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people. That's how many experts suggest a community's true risk should be evaluated. Clay and Platt are below 100. Jackson County, 105. Kansas City, 170. But other areas are much higher. Buchanan County, 496. St. Louis, 499. But no other county is close to Saline County at 978 people per capita. I wipe it down every time. Signs of the outbreak are everywhere. Even dolls are socially distanced. We're put, gonna put up signs that says do not touch. Linda Connor has owned this flower shop for 28 years. Ribbons now define where people can stand. But if somebody wants something, I will go to the cooler, bring something out, show it to them if they like it. I can take a credit card, so, uh, and I'll be 74 in June. <laughs> So this is um, a little bit difficult. Has but, it been stressful? Yes, it has. Very, very high stress level. But we'll get through this, all of us. Everything was wiped down once again when we left. It feels wonderful to be back open. We were closed for six weeks. The dog den is back open. Groomers wear masks. This is Gracie. No pet owners inside. It's only furry friends. We just get them some hand sanitizer and let them pick out a mask. Salon Ego has new rules. Capacity is limited. I'm getting my hair highlighted and uh, got a cut already. And I'm going to get uh, eyebrow wax. So I'm getting the full nine yards. This art teacher was more than ready to get her hair done and joke around. Just how bad did you look before you came in here today? <laughs> Oh, she looks beautiful. Thank Holy. you. The new normal can be beautiful as small towns pull together. And the virus appears to have spared some rural counties. 15 counties in Missouri and 20 in Kansas still have no reported cases. Those appear in white on state health department maps. But other counties are overwhelmed with testing and tracing. Here's a look at Kansas. Johnson County has 102 cases per 100,000 people. Wyandotte County is higher at 168. Leavenworth, with a prison outbreak, has 1,164. But the hottest spots are small counties. Finney County has 2,738. Ford County has the most per capita, a jaw-dropping 3,639. Here's another way to look at it. One in 27 people in Ford County have tested positive for COVID-19. The New York Times ranks this quiet county the 10th hottest coronavirus spot in the nation. I think what's really important to understand is that through this aggressive testing, we are simply identifying what is, in, what is, what is there already. Ford County is testing anyone exposed to someone who has coronavirus. Most cases have been very mild. But the COVID tracking project now reports eight people have now died in Ford County 
from COVID-19. In our case, with every positive case we've had, we've been able to trace back to an exposure. So that's not that does not meet the definition of community spread. Cases are carefully tracked. There will be no public swimming pools this summer. It's getting to be pretty daunting and exhausting, and um, we have our highs and we have our lows, but um, I've always said since the beginning of it, we're better together. Better together, but now six feet apart. It's even on Saline County Health Department stickers to help remind everyone of new guidelines. Now I really feel like we're going to have to learn to live with it and respect it as what it is, but we have to be able to kind of get back to the new norm. No, 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 no. Put, put it in your Which is what we experienced on our trip. People grateful and anxious to do their part. It's tricky. In Saline County, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.